What's up, homies? It's your man, it's Coach Metal. We coming to you live from our PS3. It is currently January 19, 2008 of our Coach K Duke Dynasty. First things first, like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithms, gets the videos out to more viewers and yada, yada, yada. It helps the channel grow. It's free. Comment. I'm not Hollywood yet. It's free. Share the video, you know, to any kind of group or Reddit, Twitter, whatever it is that you that you be on. If you think other people like the vids, share it. And of course, sub if you're not. Once again, it's free. So, uh, <laughs> we couldn't help but laugh at our last performance. We went to Florida State and got absolutely boy handled, man handled, whatever you want to call it. We got handled, bro. We got we got packaged, handled, shipped, whatever you want to call it. It, it happened to us. We're definitely going to be losing our number two ranking, but that's okay. This is the ACC. Any team, especially on the road that we go, we can get handled like that. I mean, hey, it's college basketball. These guys are 18 to 22 years old. Guys are up and down, yada, yada, yada. But we can't we can't dwell on that too much because we've got to go to uh, – we're welcoming Clemson. And they're 8-7, and seven, but their record is much better. I mean, their team is much better than their record would lead you to believe. And we'll go take a look at them real quick around the NCAA. We'll start with the stats. Their leading scorer is Casey Rivers Jr., 6'5 wing. He's a tough matchup. Trevor Booker, future NBA player. Mays is out. We already went through the injuries. He's out. Oglesby, Shooter, Hammonds. They've, they've got a number of guys who can score. But more importantly, their coach. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Purnell. They, they they press always always it doesn't matter if they score or not they're they're not one two two one they're uh they're pressure defense off the, off the on the on the back end of that is a two three matchup and they run a stack offense so it's gonna be essentially pressure the whole game hopefully our guards do not fold like they did at Florida State uh, looking at the roster the actual ratings of the players Casey Rivers their leading score is 82 overall. He gets most of his buckets from the outside, but if we're not careful, he can get to the rim. Now his layup and dunk, not very strong. That's Stitt, that's their guy. So he's, a, he's a freshman. He can get to the rim, he's 6'2", 170 though, a little, a little frail. The shooting is what worries me because they've got three guys who can, Oglesby especially, who can uh, really shoot us out the gym and we did not defend the three-point line well. We, we got behind, they got the momentum, I'm talking about Florida State, and they just busted us from deep. Now, uh, you think that was cool? The injury situation, like I said, uh, Mays will be out. Powell's hurt, but he's day to day, so he'll, he'll be on the court. He'll just be a little bit hampered. Mays is out. That hurts their interior defense. But we're not a team who we don't get our in, we don't get our inside points through the post. I think some adjustments we're going to make based off of last game one. Henderson and Nelson, we got to get those guys attacking the rim. Uh, what's what's more consistent is them getting to the basket as opposed to them actually shooting the ball because they've been shooting the ball pretty well. Go, looking at Henderson on the season, I think he's he was shooting he was shooting a higher percentage before this. Nelson is not a 48% three point shooter, but he is shooting it at a 48% clip. Like looking at his uh his rate he, he has an 80 rating that does not equate to 48%. The guy who should be helping us is a uh, singler, and of course Nolan Smith is he's underperforming from deep and as well inside. But he's a, he's a true freshman. We're gonna do some things to get him going. We're gonna look to make him our legit, you know, our actual six man. And when he uh, King and Paulus, Paulus, you're on a short leash, bro. Short leash. But when those guys come in, we're gonna look to get Smith going because he's the most talented guy and. Him giving us, you know, 10 to 12 off the bench. What am I saying? 10 to 12. 10 to 12 to 16 off the bench is what's going to make us a better basketball team. Getting Henderson and Nelson to the rim. And then Singler, he just, his talent says that he, he's a tougher matchup than 11 points a game. Shire has actually been our most consistent player. And he, he's overperforming to me. And that's okay. But we're going to get into this Clemson game. And hopefully bounce back because that last game was in. Get ready for college hoops on 2K Sports. The Clemson Tigers battle the Duke Blue Devils. 
This should be a whale of a game. We'll, we'll continue to take that shot. Step, feeds it to the baseline. Here's the spin move. Ah, they got a good shot. The shot was knocked down by Rivers. Attack, but they got good defenders. Other end of the court. We'll see her. Good D. Stolen by Duke. I like how he gets himself into defensive position at the right place at the right time yet again. Nice touch on that last three by Henderson. The D took too much time to set up, and it sure cost them. Henderson beats it to the top of the key. Nelson gets it. Left wing. Passes. Out left. Ties it up. That is good offense. And now all tied up 12. Clemson, Henderson inbounds the ball. He's double teamed. King to give them the lead. Nice. Nice. 13 unanswered points. You convert. Sometimes you can be too wide open. Hollis passes back to the top of the key. That last shot netted for three. Sometimes a loss, it's a teachable moment when you think you're invincible because it reminds you that you need to like focus and hone in on your opponent. That's what we're doing right now. Really a driver. It's kind of weird, kind of hard to explain that. They had a backdoor cut on me. Uh, that's what Oglesby does. They cut it to six. Downs the ball. It looks like they're playing man to man. We are Beats always man. playing man to man. Let's it go. Let him nicely with the pass. We the cannot let Oglesby get that Oglesby. kind of basket. But they still trail by four. Oglesby. Stepped. Beats it to the left corner. The last tray was cast. Ah. Uh. I wish Great they had shot. absolute control. This team is not going it's still anybody. Thomas gets it on the low block. Pass left wing. Ah. I got away with a bad pass early. What? Why would you leave the ball? Last basket was nailed by Oglesby. Paulus. Henderson inbounds the ball. The double team. Hammond has it right wing. Potter. Ah. Who? Ahead, Potter? 38 to 37. Hollis passes it up court. Has that been singler? Yeah. Good screen. With the pass. Good finish. Good. In close. Good pick and, and roll. McClure, surprisingly. Good screen. That comes to an end with the score 41 to 40. How about the happenings in the first half, Bill? Both sides look like they're pretty evenly matched, Fern. This could be shaping up to be a real classic. And now it's time to show you our player of the half, Bill. Nelson is my pick, Fern. He's led his team in the first half with outstanding play on both ends of the floor. I don't think he's done, though. I expect more of the same from him in the second half. In the second half. He went on to say that he wasn't going to mix up his rotation, even though he knows he has talent on the end of his bench. He felt that Shire. The Shire, I love you so much. Oh, my God, I love you so much. That's how you do it, Byrne. They came with the double team, and it was panic time. The last play was cast in by Shea. They keep knocking him down from outside. Bow. They seem to have found their rhythm. Any kind of bucket. Thomas. Good screen. Shayer for three. Shayer! And he's his team's yeah. leading score. The will try to... Henderson catches it. Left wing. Beyond the arc. Nice. Sinks it. 
He's three for six for the game. I don't like when they catch the ball not ready to shoot. Good pass. Bounce pass, right wing. Shayer. Shayer. It's a Shire, but Shayer. for the game. Jesus, man. Grab by Grant, and that's his third rebound of the contest. Hooked away, but it's recovered by. Ah, uh, we got the animation, but we didn't get the steal. By 19. King catches it right side, puts it up. The three ball. Is oh boy, Paulus! Paulus is playing from the, arc. the way I need Paulus to play. Like his play when Shire got in foul trouble, combined with Under Shire basically just blowing hand. this game open with his with the shooting. Powell from deep, King. It in. Is everything. Pernell is not at all happy with the drought they're going through and told mm. his assistants to find a way, any way to turn this one around. Dumps it off. Keep running the offense. Henderson. Keep swinging the ball. Spins. Has it. Left side. Singler passes it to the left side. Good finish. Rivers inbounds the ball. Nelson passes to the elbow. High post. Beats it to the top of the key. Shayer. The baseline J. Yes. <laughs> By 33. What a bounce back game. What a bounce back game. What a bounce back game. Uh, after being so thoroughly handled in Tallahassee, just on, it was a Tuesday. Tuesday. We, 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 it got, we got smashed. We come out and we get back to what we do, which is attack the basket, make shots, play defense, force tough, difficult shots. We forced 17 turnovers this game. We had uh, ourselves 17 assists, nine turnovers, way different than last game. Uh, we only gave up four offensive rebounds and we made shots, but this game was different. The shots we were getting, it was it was inside out and it, and it was guys who were confident, guys who had already been to the free throw line, guys who had already made a layup, guys who had already made an easier shot and then we got up going inside out. Most important though, uh, okay, so at halftime, I think the score was 41-40. John Shire, I think, hit three threes en route to starting a 31 to 8 run that included a 20 0 run in the middle. And that was really the difference because the game was close. We were going back and forth. They were shooting 55% at halftime. I think they yeah, ended the game at 47, uh, only 35 from three. We put the clamps on Oglesby, who was a. Uh, he was the guy who came in off the bench, was giving him a lot of buckets. We made it rough on Rivers all game, I believe. I don't think he got going at all. And looking at uh, look at us first, Shire, four of four of six from three. Three of those were in that. Look at look at the oh my gosh, 47 to 18 in the second half, boys. D Fish just ramped up. Uh, Henderson attacked, you know, got to the rim, uh, free throw line four times, six apiece from Paulus and Smith. Paulus redeemed himself. Because he was he was in the doghouse. He spent two days getting just chewed, and he came in, only gave us 14 minutes, but that's what we ask of him. He come in, give us upperclassmen minutes, give us upperclassmen shooting, and he did that. Uh, Smith, he's been struggling all year. He had more free throw attempts than field goal attempts, but um, that that's a product byproduct of him just attacking the basket. McClure came in, gave us good minutes when Singler got in foul trouble. And like I said, yeah, we held KC. He was averaging 14 points a game. We held him to nine. 
Uh, Hammonds was able to get going a little bit. Oglesby, he was the guy making shots for him. Second half, we shut that down. And that's really just the difference in the game, man. The, like I said, every game, it's it's the little things. There, there's a story in every game, which which is the main reason I this is my favorite basketball game of all time. Still is, which is sad. It's 2K in 2008. You did it. You know, there's 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 some problems with how the zones play that I would have loved to have been addressed. But for and foam, uh, pretty much, you guys you made the perfect game in 2K in a uh, 2K College Hoops 2K8. And I get to play it out every game. I get to feel and pay attention to the minute details that change the game. Something as simple as focusing our attention off of Stitt to Oglesby. Look what happened. It was it was a little detail, and it's it's huge, huge. All of a sudden, their offense had nowhere to go. Now it 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 helped that Mays wasn't playing. Hey. That's the nature of the beast, man. College football, uh, college basketball injuries happen. But we get the win. It's a big win. Uh, I don't know how the, how the ranking committee will see it. Hopefully we stay in the top five because I think this was a top five in the country team performance. And we got to stay close. We, we, we don't want to end up in the, in the conference tournament with a low seed because this is a tough conference. You know, Florida State is there. We'll, we'll see them again. I hope, I hope we see them again. Uh, North Carolina for obviously like they are head and shoulders to me above everybody else and you know teams like Clemson Clemson's a good team Clemson especially at full strength they're a good team uh they ran into us tonight so uh thank you for watching once again like button comment share sub if you aren't none of those cost a thing to do and uh I'll see you guys next video Hami, shout out to Pride by Katana for most of the music I use in the vids. Be sure to follow on social media. I follow back. Links to all that info in the description. For more content, be sure to subscribe and click one of the links at the end of the video for more videos. Please continue to watch, like, share, and repeat. Thank you.